Is it useful to, as a thought experiment, as an experiment of radical empathy to try to put ourselves in the space of the different uh, minds at each stage of the spiral? It's like what state space is human and civilization as a collective embodied? Mm. Like what is it? operate in so humans individual organisms operate in 3d space that's what we understand but when there's a bunch of us together mm. what are we doing together it's really hard and you have to do experiments which at larger scales is are you know re really difficult but there is such a thing there may well be we have to do experiments i i don't know there's an example somebody will say to me well you know with your with your kind of panpsychist view you might as you you probably think the weather is uh, is in, is agential too it's like well i can't say that but we we don't know but have you ever tried to see if a hurricane has habituation or sensitization maybe we we haven't done the experiment it's hard but you could right and maybe maybe weather systems can have certain kinds of memories i have no idea we have to do experiments so i don't know what the entire human society is doing but but i'll just give you a simple example of um uh, the kinds of tools, and we're we're actively trying to build tools now to enable radically different agents to communicate. So, so we 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 are doing this using using AI and other uh, other tools to try and uh, try and get this kind of communication going across very different spaces. And I'll just give you a, a very kind of dumb example of 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 how how that might be. Imagine that um, you're playing tic tac toe against an alien. So you're in a room, you don't see him, uh, and so so you 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 draw the tic tac toe thing on the board on the floor. And uh, and you know what you're doing. You're trying to uh, you're trying to make straight lines with X's and O's. And you're having a nice game. It's obvious that he understands the process. Like sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Like it's obvious in that in that one little little segment of activity, you guys are sharing a world. What what's happening in the other room next door? Well, let's say the alien doesn't know anything about geometry. Doesn't understand straight lines. What he's doing is he's got a he's got a box. And it's full of uh, basically billiard balls, each one of which has a number on it. And all he's looking, he's doing is he's looking through the box to find billiard balls whose numbers add up to 15. He doesn't understand geometry at all. All he understands is arithmetic. You don't think about arithmetic. You think geometry. The reason you guys are playing the same game is that there's this magic square, right? Mm -hmm. That somebody constructed that basically is, is a three by three square where if you pick the numbers right, they add up to 15. He has no idea that there's a geometric interpretation to this. Mm -hmm. He is he is solving the problem that, that that he sees, which is which is totally algebra. You don't know anything about that. But if there is an appropriate interface like this magic square, you guys can share that experience. You can have an experience. It, it doesn't mean you start to think like him. It means that you guys are able to interact in a particular way. Okay, so there's a mapping between the two different ways of seeing the world that allows you to communicate with of each other. Of seeing a thin slice of the world. 